Hey guys, Justin here. I am in Adelaide train station right now and it's time for some trains. Let's do it. On board this uh on board this 3100 series. Yes, on board this 3100 series number 3109 and 31110. So it's like set number 9 and set number 10 for this one. And these are very specials because they are DMUs. Yes, they are DMUs and they are pretty crappy in my opinion. <laughs> the DMUs. Now, before you actually... Now, the train will depart in like two minutes. But before you head onto the train here in Adelaide, make sure you're going to come over here and check out the uh, stopping stops where the train will stop. We're going to Port Adelaide, which is right there. So that's why every single time you need to check out what stations does these train stops. which are for the uh, outer harbour line. I think they stop at every single station, so we should be safe. Yeah. Yes, we should be safe for the outer harbour line. Clear. Doors closing. Doors closing. Now for door closing, it doesn't mean anything, okay? It honestly doesn't mean anything. It just basically, it's closed the door. But it won't depart until 10.42, which the time now is. 10.41, we should depart soon. I'll try to film on the side, let's do it. Just kidding, it's not gonna work. I will film, let's see how to film this. No idea how to film this. It's very difficult with these things on the side here. I guess we'll just film across. Yes, these are DMUs. I have no idea how long does it take to take to uh, take to uh, Port Adelaide. How many stations is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten stations. Jesus. That's the uh, that's the uh, that's the uh, that's how it looks like. The whole line, the whole sections. So we're taking out a half line, which is the blue one over there. We might eventually we'll sit back down. Okay, let's just sit back down. Hopefully the windows are working fine for this DMU. Yesterday I took, I've taken the DMU and the windows suck, so let's see. Now there are some A units over there. That one is the uh, brothers of the B series. It's very similar to the B series. But uh, unfortunately, outer half line, they don't use this one. They don't use the, uh, the, the, the B series. And here we go, you can see how terrible the engine sounds is because it's a DMU. Oh, there's a, there's a, another another B to uh, Grange, not a B, A unit to Grange. Okay. Because this is a DMU, so that's why the, the motor sounds. Welcome sound. aboard. This is a train service to Outer Harbour. The next stop is Bowden. I honestly don't like the announcements here. It's so so stupid. So that one is the Seafort, which I have taken before, Seafort line, all the way to Merino Rocks. But uh, that one, of course, the Seafort, that's the Seafort line service. It will go south. For this one, we'll go north. Now for trains, there won't be any service to the, uh, the, 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 the east side. So that's why every single line will terminate at Adelaide and head to different, and head to either the south or the north. Okay, the window looks fine, but the DMUs are very old, that's fine. It's a fun journey. Now the trains here sucks because the stupid schedules are just ridiculous. Uh, 20 to 25 minutes per train, so it's just absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so apparently for the trains, they use the same number for everything. <laughs> yeah, they use the same number for the whole train. That was the Seafort, goes down to South, or Flinders, which is the branch line. Where we go this way. That track is for the Goller line, which has just recently reopened. 
after a shutdown for like 18 months or something. But then we take different paths, we're not going to head to the Galler line path, we're going to take a different one. I think we're going to go underground a little bit and head to that way. This is the train service to Outer Harbour. The next stop is Bowden. This is so weird of the announcements. Bowden, next stop. And uh, you might be thinking, what the hell is going on with the train? So slow. No worries, it will speed up later on. <laughs> this is a DMU, man. So, forgive this, you know? Forgive it. <laughs> it's a DMU. This is actually my second time taking a DMU. <laughs> Not a joke. Every single time in Hong Kong or whatever it is, we're using EMUs. Now the uh, A units, it is an EMU. A, A units are EMUs, but this one, 3000 series, four, uh, 3100 series that we're on, they are all DMUs and they're pretty terrible. <laughs> yep, here we go, head underground a little bit and we head to the outside. It's gonna be a long journey, but let's do it. Now I will be only featuring Outer Harbor Line today, we're not gonna do anything crazy. Tomorrow I will do the lines with the A units, try to do it. Yeah, it looks like this train arriving at Bowden. Please mind the gap. Bowden. Now for the trains, they will stop at every single station, so they won't skip it. You will stop. There you go. Okay, at least there's a stupid panel, 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 I mean panel over there showing you what stops they will stop at. Now for this section is okay, but to Outer Harbor after the after breaking up of the of the branch of the branch line to uh, Grange which is at Woodville, which is coming up the stations. We will feature Woodville station later on for the return trip. The next stop is Croden. No announcements though. Now I think five years ago when I had to uh, Port Adelaide with my parents, there are no trains. So I was forced to take the bus at that time. The bus is okay, but it's definitely longer than the trains. Now at Croydon, please mind the gap. Now arriving at Croydon. Please mind the gap. I don't like the announcer. <laughs> it's just like the announcer is like dozing off or something. <laughs> Every single station is open on the left, huh? Are there panels on the station? Nope. <laughs> station is too old, man. <laughs> no panels. That kind of sucks. Closing. Mm. 
Next now stop, arriving, arriving at West Croydon. Please mind the gap. Now arriving at West Croydon. Please mind the gap. All right, West Croydon. Wow, it's getting older and older for this station. <laughs> All right, West Croydon. And also at the front of the heads for these DMUs, there are no signs of uh, where this train is going. So even worse is this situation right here. You, have, you never know what, where this train will go unless you actually go, head into the train and look at that thing over there. You see, that sets to Outer Harbour or oh, whatever that is. You need to actually open the door, head into the train and see, oh, oh, oh this one's Outer Harbour. Okay, I guess I'm out of luck. Let's wait for the next one. <laughs> you know? Right, here we go. Oh man, DMUs are not fun. <laughs> not fun to take. I rather take EMUs. But of course, it's surprising that the uh, the the trains here are still DMUs. Wow, it's crazy. Next stop is uh, Kilkenny. I might do a Grange line journey, but I might do it, but I don't I'm not gonna go to Grange. Go to Grange is uh painful. Now arriving at Kilkenny. Please mind the gap. We're not gonna feature every single section on the train this time, but it's not gonna be possible, so I've done the trams though I feel very good about myself after completing the whole of the tram sections. Kill Kenny. Is that stop number six? That's definitely not. Well, I thought the driver was just gonna skip the station. <laughs> Alright, kill Kenny. And again, the doors won't open unless you click on them. Ooh, sorry about that. I actually have a little bit of a bad feeling that the station. Adelaide Metro reminds everyone that the best defense against the spread of illness is good hygiene. Wash hands regularly and thoroughly with soap. Use a hand sanitizer and cover cough with scissors. I'm just a little bit worried that the Port Adelaide train station is going to be exact same like this. Very old and uh, just like nothing. I originally expected that the, uh, the, the Port Adelaide train station will be like, uh, like Adelaide. Please mind the gap. Now arriving at Woodville Park. Please mind the gap. It's on the left again. Like almost every single station is on the left here. Oh, it's on the right this time. Okay. Next stop is Woodville, which is uh, where you can change the branch direction. The next stop is Woodville. 
change here for trains to Grange. Please mind the gap. Not Grange, it's Grange. <laughs> Grange. I guess it's like change. Grange. The next stop is Woodville. Now arriving at Woodville. Change here for trains to Grange. Please mind the gap. Arriving at Woodville. Change here for trains to Grange. Okay, that side's to Grange then. Yep, to Grange. Platform 1. Platform 2 is Delta Harbour. Uh, I might go to Grange later on, but Grange is kind of lame. I probably just have to just like, if I have to go there, if I want to go there, I just go there and come back. <laughs> Nothing else. I might honestly, might go ahead and do Grange to Woodville later on for the, the service. Or Woodville to Grange, or whatever that is, whatever. I just decided I might do Grange. Just to feature more lines, you know. We will be missing some of the lines. I will be missing the Gala line and I will be missing the C4 line because that's what I have planned to the tip for tomorrow. So basically there are tons of lines here. There are two branch lines on four main lines, so there's six lines. So So I'll be missing the Gola line and the C4 line. I plan to do Flinders tomorrow. I'm not gonna go very far because I don't want to go very far. So I'm gonna do Flinders to like wood, good wood, and then I will do the other direction. Okay, that was to Grange. This side is to Harbour. Next stop is Saint Clair. Arriving at St. Clair. This is a very 100% pure Australian accent right here for this announcer. Arriving at St. Clair. Not Clair, it's Clair. Please mind the gap. Oh, this one has a, has a panel. We have two more, actually not, not two more, three more stations to go. It's not too long actually, three more stations. I should, I should just want to say, wait, is, is there a green line on Perth? In Perth, yes there is. There's an orange line, there are no red line though in Perth. No yellow here. Cheltenham. Please mind the gap. Okay, Cheltenham. On the left? Yeah, on the left. Okay. No, 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 on the right. Sure. Alright, let's do some stand up filmings. After this, we'll do some stand up filmings. outside right now.
Next stop is Alberton. On the left. Jesus Christ. But uh, for these DMUs, there's a very terrible design where if you have chosen a car, you cannot swap cars on the train. Those doors, you cannot pass through. If you want to change to the second car, you have to get off and then walk on the platform. That's one bad thing. Next stop is Port Adelaide. We're gonna get off. I'm visiting Port Adelaide today. This is a travel destination, so of course you have to go. For Port Adelaide it's mainly just like museum, museums and a uh, spot on the uh, on the harbour, a lighthouse, which is also famous. Right at Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide. A light here for local bus services. Mind the gap. Where is the word please? <laughs> Why just said mind the gap? No please? Okay, cool. Alright, arrived at Port Adelaide. It's getting off time. Okay, at least it's a station above ground. It's, at least it's better. Again, you cannot pre-press the buttons, so you have to wait for it. Oh, you can? Okay. All right, Port Adelaide. Okay, for trains, you can pre-press the buttons. That's good. The sky is decent today. Now, of course, we're going to wait for the train to leave. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Click the bell so that you can get notifications when I post. Check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram. Then we're gonna figure out some stuff to go to Grange or something like that. So see you guys next time. Click on these videos up top and peace.